Hey guys, welcome back. Unique Delicious TV, Tish. We met, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you're new to my channel, all my social media will be in the box below. This, if you haven't noticed inside up above, is going to be a collab with my beautiful, beautiful YT sis, Miss Lala Honey 06. Um, she's absolutely amazing. I have known her for about five years. Basically since I started on YouTube. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, we recently got back in contact and, you know, we've both grown and I just think she's so talented, so amazing, has such a great personality and I pretty much reached out to her and was like, hey, let's do a collab. I have not done any collabs with anyone, so, you know, I love your makeup, I watch your videos all the time, let's do a collab. We both agreed on the idea of a warm kind of fall look, something that has to do with the oranges and the browns and just the beautiful, beautiful colors, especially for me, my inspiration came from a lot of the leaves, when the leaves start to change from green to orange to brown, and that's where my personal inspiration is coming from. Now, I have done my foundation, as you can see, I've done my brows prior to this video, so I can talk through it and it's not a very, very long video. So basically, what's on my face? Let's get that going. I always, if you've watched me before, you watched my videos before, you know I have my Holy Grail Lancome, and this is the Lift Multi Action Moisturizer. This is my Holy Grail that I use pretty much every single tutorial, every single day. Okay, I use my City Cosmetics Complexion Perfecting Cream, another Holy Grail. That's what it looks like. And then I like to seep into the skin. Next thing that I use is I use a primer. The primer that I've been loving, which I cannot find right now, is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. That has become my holy grail primer so far. As far as drugstore, it's freaking amazing. Now, that's what I used before I put my foundation on. After I put my foundation on, I have really, 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 really been loving the Lancome 24 hour makeup. I've been using this for about a year. Now in the winter my color is about a 230 buff. Um, in the fall, or not the fall, in the fall, summer, fall kind of time, um, I am a 320 bisque. Now the 320 bisque, um, I'm thinking that might end up being year round because my color doesn't really change as dramatically. But right now that's what I have on my face right now is Lancome and that is in 320 bisque. So that's pretty much what is on my face. I have already contoured. It's a very light contour. It's nothing overly dramatic, but I use my Lebrac Pro contour palette. And normally I just use pretty much the beige, the yellow, and the light. Those are pretty much what I like to use when I do for natural. When I go dramatic, I like to dip into these two, okay? And that's pretty much what is on my face right now. I have no primer on my eyes. I have nothing else going on. Um, my brows, I use the BH Cosmetics, BH Studio Pro Ultimate Palette, which I'll be doing a review on that. It's amazing. I use these two colors right here. As you can see, I've been digging in them. So yeah, this is a really, really good, um, it's a good buy for not only a makeup artist, whether you're freelancing or you're pro, but it's also good to have for yourself because you never know. I mean, you always could, there's so many shades in this that you can definitely work with it. So it works for everyone. So that's basically right now, I've given you the gist of what's going on. <laughs> We're going to jump right into the actual tutorial. Now what I'm going to be using today is a new palette that I picked up at my job. And that is going to be the Vice 4 palette for this tutorial. Okay. I don't want to blind y'all, so I'm going to do it upside down. Otherwise, you guys are going to get blind. And this is what the palette, lovely, lovely palette looks like, okay? So, the colors I'm going to be using today are going to be Fastball, right here. I'll point with my thing, Fastball. I'm going to be using Flame, right here. I'm going to be using Bitter, over here in the corner. And I'm going to be using Delete, okay? As far as my highlight on my brow bone, I will be going between Framed and Discreet. And they might even dip into a little bit of bones. Okay, without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. First, I'm going to be priming my eyes with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. 
just a little bit. Warm it up. I like to place that. I go from the inner tear duct along the lid all the way up to make sure I have full coverage, especially when priming for a bold color. You really want it to pop, but you want it to last all day as well. Since I'm going to be putting color underneath, I'm going to put a little bit underneath. Okay. First thing I like to do, and everybody to each their own, they, you know, they do it differently, is my first step is I do do my brow bone color just because I like to have pretty much to know, I don't want to go up too high with the color, but I also want to have that as a little bit of a highlight transition kind of shade in order to get the crease going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Urban Decay, just like a nice Urban Decay fluff brush, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to mix Framed and Discreet right there, these two. Just tapping them both. Tap off your brush. And I take that from the inner portion of my brow, right underneath it, and sweep it right into the... The brow bone. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you tap off your brush so you don't have fallout. Just very light handed. Okay. So far so good. Then I like to take and I like to build up the color. So I'm going to take Bitter with the same brush since we started with a, a lighter shade. Tapping off the excess. I'm going to start pretty much in my outer V and I'm just going to dab it. I like to dab in the shade, shape that I'm going. And then just sweeping it up and around. And then as I get into the outer V, I like to go in a circular motion so that I'm blending it while I'm putting the color in. Go into Bitter, do the same thing on the other side. The outer V. And just blending it in a circular motion. Okay, I want a little more intense on this eye. This tends to be my favorite eye. Blending it out. I'm going to go back in better and just build up the color on the opposite eye. Going in circular motions. I love these warm shades, especially in like the orangey, kind of burnt orange, like just an orange based brown. Like I really do love these colors. They make the skin, they just make your eyes, not so much even the skin, they just make your eyes pop so much. And I like going back and forth just to make sure that the color is distributed properly. Check them out, make sure they're even. Okay, that's our first color. Next color we're going to use, I'm actually going to go in with the brush, the vice brush. That I'm actually going to use the vice brush that came with the palette, this little fluff portion. I'm going to go in with delete, and we're going to deepen up that crease. But this one we're going to bring a little bit lower, like down towards the outer V. And this is more of our transition. We're going to go down just a little, slight lower. So you can see the definition between the two colors.
Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Take some more delete, tap it off. And normally I would close off my outer V. I'm not going to do that this time. And just keep blending and blending till you get it the desired look that you're looking for. I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and bitter and just blend out the darkened portion of the crease. Now here comes the fun part. This is what we have so far. We're going to go in with Fastball on the other end of that vice brush and this is going to go in the inner portion of the lid in a padding motion blending it while we're applying it this is a corally kind of peachy tone it may show up pink, but it's actually like a coral peach. Okay. Do the same thing to the other eye. At least to the halfway mark is how we want to do this. Okay. Okay, to our halfway mark. Then we're going to go in with the very tip of the other side and we're going to get flame. It's a beautiful, beautiful color right here. We're going to add that to our outer, our outer lid, mixing it in about halfway with fastball. Now we all know that Urban Decay is really, you know, known for their fallout, but if you tap your brush and you don't dig into the shadow, it's going to last and they're going to go on really nice. Pushing that shadow into the lid from the outer V where we left it open. Into the crease and sweeping. So that the two colors do blend. Now I do have a tiny bit of fallout, but not very much because I did tap my brush. As you can see, that's the look we have so far. What I'm going to then do is I'm going to get a nice little blending brush, if I can find one. Okay, blending brush. And I'm going to take discrete, just discrete. And I'm going to blend, very lightly blend out the crease. But there's no harsh lines. And then if you want to go in, you can always go in and deepen up 
anything that you want to deepen up. Like, I want to go back in with delete. I don't want to deepen up that base of the crease. And then just go back in and blend it out. Voila. Now I'm going to take a nice little smudger brush and I'm going to smudge some color on the lower right underneath my lashes. For this color I'm actually going to go with underhand. I'm going to do a different color and it's this dark kind of burgundy. I'm just lightly smudge that. I like to only go halfway. I won't go the full way. Blending everything out one more time. Okay. Then I'm going to take a small shadow brush. This is from my Naked 3 palette. I'm going to take a little bit, I'm going to take this small end and take a little bit of bounce in the corner. Put that in my inner tear duct, brushing it upwards just a little bit, just to give a little bit of pop. It opens up the eyes. I'm bringing it down. And as you can see, this is the finished look with the eyes. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kisses liner, line my lower uh, waterline. I always only go halfway. That went a little further. Then using my Dior It Lash, after I curl my lashes with my Lancome, this is my Lancome curlers, I'm going to go in and put my Dior It Lash. Because I did the smudging, I'm not going to put any on my lower lash line, um, my lower lashes, just because I've already smudged out the color. Next thing I'm going to do is just add some lip color and some blush, and we'll be all done. For my lip color, I'm actually going to go in with the Simply Red by NYX. Let's put our glasses on.
Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to take my Monte Carlo and this is a soft matte lip cream. Then I'm just going to go around and just clean up my edges. Whenever you have a bright, bold lip, you definitely want to make sure that you are shaping your lips and cleaning up your edges. Because we all make mistakes and no one is perfect. And we all know how unforgivable red lips is. They're beautiful to have, but a pain in the you-know-what. Okay, for my blush, I'm going to go in with my Real Cheeky Party, and this is my benefit. And I'm going to use Coralista, which is one of my favorites. I'm basically going to use, if I can find my brush, there we go, my Sigma F15. And then I'm going to take, sorry, I'm going to take my NYX Ritualistic. Hopefully y'all can see that. And this is going to be my highlight using the Sigma Dual Fiber F50. And that is the finished look. So I hope that you all loved this collaboration with my beautiful YT sis, Miss Lala Honey 06. I'll have all of her information in the box below. Make sure you go check her out. She is amazing. Like I said, she does reviews. She does tutorials. She does, she tells it like it is. And that's, you know, you definitely want to find someone that you watch that does that. So I love you with all my heart. You are awesome, amazing. Um, and thank you to all my lovely subscribers, both new and old, who have stuck with me this far. And I love you guys so much. Um, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and all, as always, stay delicious. And I'll check you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.